Hey folks, this is episode 3 of my Let's Play Evocron Mercenary. And in our last episode, we did a couple basic missions. We did a, um, a drop-off mission where we dropped off supplies to a battleship. And we also did a racing mission. And um, right before we wrapped up, I went ahead and docked at the next um, station. Now, um, first thing you want to do when you land at a new spa station is to um, refuel and reload. Fill the tank, and we want to fill the ship up. Now, let's see. Available contracts. All right, you want to look for the IMG contract. And let's see. Energy needs to have a mobile solar array clean before it can be relocated and activated. Okay. Um, for this, we're going to need a special piece of equipment. It's a, um, a tractor beam. And tractor beams are kind of like the Swiss Army knife, sonic screwdriver of this game. They kind of do everything. Like, they're used for cleaning dirt off of uh, solar panels. They're used for, obviously, pulling in cargo. Um, they're also used for pulling particles from the air. And um, I think you can get water from um, planetary uh, bodies of water. So it, they, they pretty much do everything. It's, it's ridiculous. So um, we need to buy one. Now, uh, there's a couple things we can do. We can actually get items for sale. And, ah, there we go. A mine tractor beam. And it's like 7,000 credits. We can easily buy it. So you want to left click to buy it. And as you can see, it's now in our equipment. Now, if I left clicked instead of right clicked, it would have put it in my cargo bay. Actually, let's see if I left click. There we go. It puts it in my cargo bay, and it's not equipped. So all I have to do is um, right-click on it again. Make sure you right-click on the cargo bay. Otherwise, if you left-click, it'll sell it. So I think I said, <laughs> said right-click anyway. <laughs> okay, so anyway, right-click. Very important. So, okay, so we got that equipment. Now, you can't equip... You can't um, install equipment unless you're docked. So... You know, keep that in mind. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention there's a repair ship option if your ship ever takes damage. Um, and you'll know that you'll take damage because you'll have hull damage right here. And then on your HUD, it'll say your, your hull is less than 100%. So you can go here and repair your ship. And there's equipment you can get that will repair it. So let's go back to our contract here. And accept. All right. And we're going to hit Dolphin F3. Disengaged. All right, switch to inertial mode. And we're just going to, you know, I'm not going to boost out of here. I'm just going to take her out on thrusters. There we go. I like to accelerate to about 2,000. And I don't know. I guess this is me being a sci-fi nerd, but I like to clear the station before I engage FTL. <laughs> so um, I think technically you can... You can execute your FTL just right outside the hangar bay honestly but I don't know I like to clear some distance that's just me I guess I'm a role player at heart but anyway so let's hit the um, spin up our FTL and warp to our next location alright whoa gauge that IDS okay all right, that object right in front of us is the uh, solar array they were talking about. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, we can be all like awesome ace pilot Starbuck and like strife, strife across the uh, surface of the solar array, cleaning the tiles as we go. Or we can be lame newbies and just kind of use the IDS and stay in one place and then clean them. So, yeah. I'm going to do that because I, I hate these missions, honestly. They're not fun. All right, so um, let's get a little bit closer to this guy. All right, not too close. Right. Okay, now you, B is your tractor beam button. And I believe you can hit Alt-B. There we go. And that um, permanently turns your tractor beam on. Now you want to clean each one of these squares until they're completely blue. 
And actually, let's get a little bit closer to this guy. There we go. You see they're a little foggy? All right. Actually, you know what? Turn the IDS off here. Whoa, whoa, easy, girl, easy. There we go. There we go. Okay, this isn't quite like Ace Pilot Starbuck maneuver, but still, it's pretty good. A little thrust here. There we go. There. See? Another use for the IDS. Oh, not the IDS, the, um... Oops. For our, um, inertial maneuvering. And yeah, this is probably one of the dullest missions in the game. <laughs> Honestly, it's... yeah. It's pretty boring. Clean and solar arrays. But you know, I guess everyone has to start somewhere, you know? You just can't immediately start going out shooting people in dogfights. You gotta start small. And hey, you know what? The universe needs people to do little jobs like this, so... Oops. Oh yeah, you gotta be very, very gentle with your um, um, with your thrusters here. You gotta like gently tap the button. Almost done with this little job. Kind of makes you feel like a space janitor. There we go. Oh, looks like we missed a spot. I missed a spot. All right, now you got to find out where that spot was that you missed. Okay, we're looking for like a slight. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, where's that one spot? I say this is the most tedious mission in the game. I, I am not a fan. Not a fan. You know what? I bet I'm gonna go back and watch this video and I'm gonna see that spot. I'm gonna be like, why did you take so long finding that? It's gonna happen. It, it always happens. It's okay though. We're all here to learn, right? You guys are probably, some of you playing this for the first time might make the same mistake I am right now. I've done this one before, actually. I've done a couple missions like this. They're just. Okay, where is it? Get really close to this glass. Alright. This is a good job for the IDS, actually. Well, sorry folks, not like Ace Pilot Starbuck material. Well. Alright, let's see what we got here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this video series is supposed to get people interested in this, but... Yeah. Staring at a solar panel. Wait, did... Oh, crap. Okay, um... Quick lesson, um, don't engage your FTL when you're, um, like two meters away from, less than two meters away from a solar panel. Your ship tends to explode. Wow, it's still making the tractor beam sound. That's weird. 
I don't even have a tractor beam. Oh, let me turn this off. Docking tractor beam disengaged. Wow, okay. Huh, how about that? Alright. Okay, let's pick let's pick this thing up and and um Oh, I already Great. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like. Um, can I do a quick load here? Great. Okay. Well, these things happen. Um, apparently, this station still thinks that I bought the thing. Oh, new items are available now. Hold on. Maybe they have what I need now. Full throttle, I say. Okay. Well, that was my first death, so you guys got to see me die. That's why you save often in this game. It's a very valuable lesson. Save often. Save a lot. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. Tractor beam. Excellent. Okay, tractor beam bot. Disengaged. Turn that off. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot. I have to accept that contract. Docking track to be engaged. Okay. Oh, um, Docking one more thing. You can't engaged. save while you're on a mission. Or while you're on a contract. That's rules. I didn't make that up. It's to um, avoid exploits. Okay. All right, there's that nice solar array. Okay, well, okay, we're just gonna get really close to it and scrub it clean. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn my IDS on. Don't fly right in front of it. And I'm just going to gradually reduce my speed. You'll notice um, it takes a few seconds for my ship's velocity to match my set velocity. So you don't want to get like really close to it and then all of a sudden like cut your thrust because you're probably going to hit it. Okay. Actually, it's, I'm a, being a little too cautious now. All right. Engage tractor beam. All right. And, whoops. Here we go. Okay, IDS off. I mean, I'm sorry, IDS engaged. All right, let's see what we got here. Alrighty then. So. Oh, see, I'm still not close enough to it. Right here. Good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wow, really? You gonna you gonna do that to me? Lean in solar panels. Yep. What was that? Did I hit the... I think I hit it. Honestly, don't they have, like, drones or something that can do this job? I mean, really. I mean, seriously, like, 14,000 credits. You think they could make a drone that could do this? instead of hiring a guy to use his ship, expend fuel. I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense. All right. Makes no sense to me.
Okay, this is probably the... Probably not a very exciting episode for you. Mercenary, not a window cleaner. Alright, I'm probably doing this the slowest and most inefficient way possible, but I don't care because I engaged my FTL and smacked right in front of this thing, so yeah, it's not gonna happen. Still, though, I want my ship made of whatever this material is made of. This stuff's indestructible. I mean, it took out a starship crushing it, running into it. You know, that's impressive. What kind of solar panels are these things made of? And it's like there's two stages to these. They're... They're completely dirty, they're halfway dirty, and then there's like completely clean, and it's really hard with the um, with the position of this um, star back there to tell what's been cleaned, you know, what's halfway clean versus like what's been clean. All right, I think we got this. Windows clean. Okay, done. Hold on. Save. Okay, we're good. All right. What did these guys give us? Oh, let me turn this thing off before it annoys me too much. All right, let's just kick that. Let's just go fly in this direction for a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's see. We'll improve your value to the guild. Continue. I'll be soon giving useful and paid work. Keep the good work. All right, let's see, so we need additional resources at post five near Sapphire. Travel there and accept the contract to mine from the asteroids surrounding the station. You're gonna improve your value to the guild. All right, near Sapphire, okay. Bring up our nav map. Turn on planets. Okay, and it looks like Sapphire is somewhere over here. So we're just gonna put our put a marker right over there and just go for it. Oh yeah, be sure to divert all power to your weapons so your energy will climb quicker. And we just go along for the ride. Oh, yeah, and you can also, like... Hold on. I think it's, like... Alt-Enter? No. There's a way you can cycle through your chat log. I forgot how to do it. Actually. Yeah, you can do it this way. Hold down the Alt key and then just use your mouse to... Look at things. Of course... When you get, take your finger off the alt key, your ship tends to freak out a little bit, so I don't recommend that. Alright, so what do you guys think of the video series so far? I know it's only been like three episodes, but um, yeah, am I teaching you guys things? Are you at least somewhat entertained? What do you think I should do better? Any suggestions? Uh, did I get some stuff totally wrong? Because I know there's probably some veteran players who are watching this. And if so, please leave a comment. Tell me what, uh, what I can improve on. Always open for criticism. Okay, there's Sapphire. Okay, and it said... Resources of Outpost 5. Um, stations? Okay, let's see. Outpost 1 is right there. Hmm. 
Let's see. Solar Alpha. Um, I want to say it was. Let's see here. That looks like something that says. Oh, I think Outpost 5's over here. Oh, there's Outpost 5's right. Oh, yeah, if you hold down the. Um, Um, what did I do? I think if you hold down the alt key and, um... Yeah, okay, yeah, if you, um, right-click on a section of the map, it'll zoom in. So there's Outpost 5. And we're gonna put ourselves right there. And we're gonna do a rear view, make sure we're not, like, on top of the station and right outside the asteroid field. And we're gonna autopilot. Okay. We're on our way. And that's another thing I, I have a problem with. It's kinda hard to read some of these, um, some of the, it's hard to read the map map sometimes. Especially when everything just kinda gets clustered together. So, and like I said, there's probably a mod out there that fixes that. As I've mentioned before in a lot of my videos, the great thing about being um, a PC game is the modding community can come together and enhance the game. So, you know, it's, I think it's great. All right, let's see. And yeah, see, it's recharging pretty quickly when you put all your um, power to the weapons. Oh, there's an asteroid field. All right, and we're gonna turn this autopilot off here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the ship's freaking out a little bit. Okay. Let's get this ship lined up and docked. And then I'm gonna end the episode once I dock. And then we get to do mining! How exciting's that? Well, yeah. Like I said, I... I didn't say these missions were going to be very exciting, <laughs> so. It, but but I appreciate it though because you know it it takes you through like. Um, the basics before you get into like combat, because you know um. Each one of those missions kind of tested a different skill. Like when you're dropping the package off, that you know taught you to control your velocity, and match speed with another ship. The um, racing taught you, obviously, how to control your ship, how to bank into turns and stuff. And the um, the solar panel cleaning, um, aside from teaching you not to engage your FTL when you're a couple meters from a solar panel, um, taught you, like, fine control and aiming. So, so you know, it, it, it seems really dull and boring, but all of these... Um, elements have a, a purpose. There's a purpose to everything. There's a design behind it. Okay, so it looks like that. Yep, there's you can you can kind of make out the docking um, shield right there. And we're just gonna maneuver our ship down into it. And there, were, there are docking lights telling us that we're way too high. Of course, I could tell, I could have told you that. I don't need a computer to tell me that. All right. Now I'm just applying a little bit of upward thrust to kind of slow myself down. All right. A little bit more. A little bit more. And we're green. Go ahead and line that up with the nose of your ship. Give her a little forward thrust. And that ship will just slide right into the docking port. Easy as that. Alright, well I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you uh, weren't too bored with me trying to clean a solar panel. 
yeah. <laughs> so, um, but uh, again, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And of course, if you, if you like the video, if you learned something, and if you enjoy my commentary and my gameplay, click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, 